In 11 hours, I will see her again. I've waited a long time, and it's finally here. I just hope I don't say the wrong thing. Wait, what if I say the right thing and she jumps my bones? I don't want to come off too easy, and it sure as I don't want to come off as a prude. Oh well, I'll just be myself. Yeah, I'm getting lucky. In 11 hours, I'll get to hear her voice again. I mean, I've talked to her on the phone, and we did that kite thing. I mean, Skype. But it's really not the same as having her right in front of me. I'll be able to even smell her breath. Shit. How's my breath? I guess I could use a breath mint. Couldn't hurt. Well, what flavor? Cherry? Mint? Menthol? Wait. What if she's allergic to the smells of them breath things? What if she starts gagging? I don't know the Heimlich thingy. Ah, oh, shit. What do I do? In 11 hours, I will get to hold her again. Wait a minute, Casanova. What makes you think you're going to get physical with this girl? Did she say anything to you during our phone conversations that makes you believe this sort of thing is going to happen? No. But if you must know, remember when we talked to her last night and she was hanging up the phone? She said, I just want to squeeze you. What? You idiot. She was probably talking about her cat for crying out loud. Her cat? She never mentioned to us about a freaking cat. What are you talking about? Well, maybe she didn't tell us because it's none of her business, jackass. You're the jackass, not me. And you know something else? I bet she doesn't have a cat. And I bet she was talking about holding us. You'll see. And you'll see the cat here on her jacket. Don't say it didn't warn you. Warn me? Exactly about what? Are you going to start? Look. Don't even think about interrupting our conversation today. In fact, why don't you just take the night off? I don't know. Maybe go to a pet store and buy yourself a cat? Pussy! What'd you call me? I didn't call you anything. I said pussy. As in pussy cat. You know? The kind of animal your sweetheart couldn't wait to hold last night after you hung up the phone all sweaty? Dude, you're pushing your luck tonight. Just go do your own thing and let me have my time with her? Is that too much to ask? From you? Yeah, just a little. But you know what? I'm in a good mood. I'll go away and leave you two love birds alone. Oh, just one word of caution. You two birds may want to look out for a cat. You just heard 11 Hours, a two-sided story, written by John J. Rupert, July 13th, 2015. Recorded, spoken, and music added by John J. Rupert, July 14th, 2015. Till we meet again, be safe and be creative. Remember, there's always two sides of every story.